want nothing more than for the pain to end for all of you, or at least subside. 40 years to life behind bars. That is the sentence for Freeman High School shooter Caleb Sharp, who killed one student and injured three others nearly five years ago. Sorry to everybody who I sold their innocence in high school experience. And for the first time, a public apology from the gunman himself. And most of all, I am sorry to Amy and Emily for taking Sam from them. I know these are just words, but I do mean them. It has been a long and emotional process. You, you took my son in the worst way possible, and you had zero remorse. Now families can finally leave this trial behind as they try to move forward. Crim 2 News at 4 begins now with Whitney Ward and Jeremy Legu. I'm sorry to Gracie. Jordan and Emma, for the scars on their bodies and their minds that I can never erase or take back. And most of all, I am sorry to Amy and Emily for taking Sam from them. For a prison sentence five years in the making. The Freeman High School gunman was sentenced to 40 years to life in prison. Tonight, the victims and the community hear directly from the shooter. I spent a lot of time thinking, what exactly would I say when I did get a chance to speak? Now that I'm here, I can see clear as anything that it's really only one thing I can say. And that's I'm sorry. I'm sorry to this entire community. I'm sorry to every single person I forced PTSD upon. I'm sorry to all the people who can't go out in public anymore. I'm sorry to the people who can't sleep at night in fear. I'm sorry to everybody who I stole their innocence and high school experience. I'm sorry to Gracie, Jordan, and Emma for the scars on their bodies and their minds that I can never erase or take back. And most of all, I am sorry to Amy and Emily for taking Sam from them. For I know these are just words, but I do mean them. And to that effect, I live my life. I used to live for myself, seeking what was good for myself, but that day showed me the true cost of evil. Everything that this community had to pay, that my own family had to pay. And from that point on till now, evil has no place in my heart. Not after I saw that price. I don't live to myself anymore. I can't. I owe this community, this entire courtroom, so many outside of it, so much more to be better do good and live for that good only and I know in using that word oh that I can never repay never do enough penance to take back or pay back what I've taken but my faith sustains me and I pray for forgiveness as God himself does forgive thank you Aaron. That was Caleb Sharp's statement in its entirety today. Caleb Sharp was just 15 years old when he opened fire at the Freeman High School in September of 2017. He's now been sentenced to 40 years to life in prison. And before the judge announced his fate today, Sharp spoke to the courtroom and the community for the first time since that shooting. We also heard him talk and apologize to his victims, including Sam Strahan, who was, of course, the 15-year-old boy who was killed in that shooting. We want to turn our attention now to Kremtu's Amanda Roley, who has covered this case from the very beginning. She was in court today for the sentencing, as she has been all week throughout this entire trial before that. Amanda, tell us what happened in court today from your perspective. 
Yeah, Whitney, so Judge Michael Price spent a lot of time speaking at length about how he reached his decision and the laws that are continually changing just within this last year that really dictated what his decision could be. Now, he spoke to the victims saying that they endured an unspeakable horror. And he also recognized that the Freeman community, he recognized their frustration with the multiple several delays in this case. But he explained that it was important for him to sentence Sharp correctly to avoid any grounds for an appeal. Now, just to recap, the defense was requesting a 20 year sentence. The state was requesting 35. But in his remarks today, Judge Michael Price said neither of those requests were enough. So take a listen to his comments in court today. It's shocking in its scope that a child in this day and age who was really crying out for help was allowed to carry out such a heinous crime when the writing was pretty much on the wall for everyone to see, but no one seriously looked. As counsel correctly pointed out, lots of kids have an IEP. Lots of kids are depressed and confused at what is already likely a turbulent time in their lives. Lots of kids have ADHD, but they don't go shoot up a school and try to kill as many of their classmates as they can. factor that Judge Price had considered was expert testimony from both sides, both saying that Caleb Sharp did show, did demonstrate the ability to rehab, but needed a, an intense mental health treatment plan and transitional plan post release. Whitney. Amanda, the judge talked a lot about those victim impact statements. We heard a lot of people saying how that shooting has affected their lives. Uh, you obviously have covered this trial, this shooting from the very beginning since the day it happened. What was it like in the courtroom? Because I know it was incredibly emotional, much more emotional than we could understand when we weren't in the courtroom. Yeah, emotional to say the least, Whitney. Yesterday was probably the most difficult time I've ever had in court, listening to all the victim impact statements directly from the two remaining girls and from Amy Strahan herself. It was, there was not a dry eye in the courtroom. And today it definitely, it felt somber, but there was definitely a strong, you could feel that sense of support. There were a lot more people here today. We, we had people fill the entire courtroom, but they also opened up the jury lounge down the hall, which was also full of people in support of the Freeman community. So you really could feel that sense of strength and Freeman strong. So it was really beautiful to see. And, and even after the fact, when the sentencing came down those families of the victims understandably they did not want to talk on camera today but did you get a sense or a feeling that they were satisfied with this sentence today yeah, when you do want to point out in their victim statements uh, earlier this year and then in the victim impact statements from Amy Strahan and, and the other families, they pretty much everyone was asking for that maximum sentence or life in prison. And I do want to make it clear that the judge explained to the crowd that that is not something he could give because of state law and the things that have changed recently. So the max he could give again, giving that 40 year sentence kind of looked around the room. It, 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 they all respected the judge's ask of being respectful and, and not making big reactions to that sentence. And, and they were definitely respectful in doing that. Once they left the hall, uh, left the courtroom and into the hall, however, uh, you could see everyone hugging and, and for the most part in good spirits. Can you talk about the just the significance of hearing from Caleb Sharp, the shooter for the very first time today? Yeah, Whitney, this happened five years ago and the community of Freeman, I think all of Spokane County, everyone has been waiting to hear, really understand why, right? And that's still a question that that hangs over us today is, is the motive and why. But this is a huge deal. Hearing him speak for the first time, this is this is major. Uh, I was surprised that he even chose to speak up, uh, but he as you heard uh, just here, here a few minutes ago, he said, I'm sorry. Um, and and said there's no more uh, there's no more evil that's in my heart but it, it was it was a, um, a big deal really to hear hear what he had to say all right amanda roley you've done a tremendous job covering the um the emotional 
portions of this trial, of course, with sensitivity and just the gravity of what happened here today. Thank you very much. We appreciate what you've done. Also, relief, that is the first word in a statement sent out today from the Freeman High School District Superintendent Randy Russell. He says we are relieved this case is finally over. It has been a very difficult time, almost five years, he said, to endure for our Freeman community, especially for the victims and their families. We are so proud of our students, staff and parents who have been resilient and resolute. He says we look forward to our future and we want to thank all those who have stood by Freeman and offered their love and support during this time. Your kindness will never be forgotten. We will remain Freeman strong. And Creme 2 has covered this shooting and its aftermath since the very beginning. For a complete look at our coverage of the Freeman High School shooting, including the trial, the victim impact statements and more, just text the word Freeman to 509-448-2000. We'll send that link right to your phone.